Hey everybody, this is Seaspray, and I'm here yet again to do another Transformer review. Today we're going to take a look at Transformers Robots in Disguise, Spy Changers, Wars. Wars stands for Wicked Attacked Recon Sports Car, and this is a very cool uh, character, cool figure. And this is a variant of the original one. This is a translucent one, and there's also another variant also, which I'm going to be reviewing shortly. So as you can see here, we have Wars. Uh, this is the only one I have like like in this kind of style and package. The rest are all in different kind of packages. But here you have uh, traditional packaging with the variants, looking pretty cool. You can see the picture up top. Level one conversion, and it comes with uh, the figure. Uh, and show was seen on Fox Kids, and the figure is brought to us by Hasbro. You just take a look at the back here. Shows the picture. You can cut these out if you want to, but uh, I'll probably just keep the card as is. But you can just see, it comes with the card that you can cut out, and it has a picture of the character. And up on this side, it just says uh, his motto, which is, I dare you to come and get me. And then it leads into statistics, and they just read, strength is 7, intelligence is 6, speed is 8, endurance is 9, rank is 7. There's something here, it doesn't say anything, but it's a 9 apparently, so whatever that is. Then it leads into uh, fire blast, 6, skill 7. So that's pretty cool, and it just reads here, Wars is an aggressive warrior who loves to fight. He is covered in thick armor and specializes in body slime attacks. <laughs> That's pretty wicked. His violent actions frighten both his allies and enemies. He has a machine gun that fires non-stop when in battle. That's pretty So sick. yeah, this guy came out roughly around 2001 or so, and you can see the other figures in the wave, and you can see the regular wars right there with his uh, solid color, which I do have, minus a pistol, which is sad. I'll have to get another one. But, look pretty cool. I love the spy changers. Uh, I love the figures. And they go really great with like um, the Brave Maximus if you want to go like size comparison. And then in the show, uh, the characters were great. Love to see them all in there with their kind of G1 looking uh, vibe to them. And I thought, what a great lineup of characters to have in the series. Uh, very cool. Okay, so let's just open this up and uh, take a look at it in further detail and see what this guy has to offer. I already have this, like I said, the regular one, so I'm not really expecting much out of this but it looks pretty cool nice looking variant there okay so let's just open this up and take a look at it and here we have wars fresh out of the package and uh, pretty nice he's looking all translucent and badass of course sporting his name on the side there w-a-r-s wars you see the chinese symbol on top i'm not too sure what that means maybe it represents war i'm not sure if you know you let me know in the comment area because that would rock. Very cool because he's all, like he said, uh, all armored up. Sit on the bio there. You can see all the extra armor for battle. You can see on the side there. Very cool. Autobot insignia there. A little bit of yellow pinstriping on the bottom and on the back on the spoiler. Uh, yeah, I thought it was silver, but it's gold um, on the rims. And it's 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 a red translucent, but it's kind of an orange a little bit too. Has, yeah, it has some orange on the bottom there. It's really nice, nice silver on the front. Very cool. Rolls really well. All these things roll really well, I think. And he does come with a gun. And uh, some of them do store on the bottom, but um, I think some of them also have the gun. This one's kind of a bulky gun. So it doesn't really store on him, but I, but I think it, it might, but I don't think so. Regardless, gun there looks pretty cool. You just check it out. Nicely detailed. I'm not a, I'm not a big, big fan of the translucent figures, um, but they're starting to grow on me a little bit. Um, I know my bro, Evil Car, he, uh, Evil Car Five Thousand. He's a big fan of translucent stuff, so. Pretty sure he would like this. Looks nice. All right, so we can just jump into transformation. All you want to do is just separate it. That's pretty stiff. There you go. Let's pull the back end out. You can take his arms, the side of the car, pull them out, and then pull down the hood of the car. And it moves in two points there and there. So you kind of like bring it down and kind of just jerk it up a little bit. That way it's not kind of not sitting down so much, but it's up a little bit. It's not a big deal, but it just helps make the uh, figure that look that much more cool. Awesome. 
cool little figure. I like this guy a lot. I like that face sculpt. It's uh, black with some silver. Everything's all silver on it. He kind of like has sunglasses, kind of like a visor. That's a really nice. Very cool. And you can just take his gun and pop it on his hand there. Just a little hole there and just come take the peg and pop it in the hole. Very cool, and there you go. Awesome. Move all the way around if you want. Of course, it goes on both hands. And if you don't want to lose it, and you don't want to um, keep it, if you don't want to lose the gun, and you want to keep it in car mode, I suggest you put it somewhere safe. But if you keep your figure like this, then of course you're not going to lose it on here. But I have to say, I lost a few guns. And well, my first, when I first started getting into Transformers, it was with the Spy Changers. And uh, my first few spy changes, I lost the gun, so that kind of sucks. Alright, awesome figure. Cool. Just take the gun off. So for articulation, of course, his arms can rotate 360, and they can go in and out, but that's for transformation. And the legs, as you saw, they can go in and out, but that's for transformation. And that's pretty much it. Very simple little figures, but very cool, nonetheless. Let's transform back to the car. You just repeat the same steps, just take the chest off the hood, flip it up, pop in the arms, and then bring in the back of the car, his legs of course. Awesome. Okay, so that's about it. So uh, I'm going to be doing a few more spy changer reviews, so stay tuned for those. Got a bunch lined up, and they're all pretty much these variant translucent ones. Uh, I'll definitely show some comparisons with the regular version and, and what have you, and and that's what it is. So stay tuned for more reviews. This is Seaspray coming at you. And please rate, comment, subscribe. Leave a video response if you want. Uh, anything related to this uh, review. And take care and I'll catch you guys later. Seaspray out. <laughs>